To attend, 500 people packed right into a community meeting tonight to address crime and violence in their Oakland neighborhood. KTV's Jana Katsuyama was there. She joins us now live with the details. Jana. Julian, Mike, there was a lot of frustration. There was a lot of despair and anger. People got up and shared stories about being attacked, being robbed, having mentally ill people defecating on their doorsteps. And a lot of these residents said that they feel like they aren't being heard. City Council member Dan Kolb organized the community meeting at the Oakland Tech High School Auditorium. A crowd of hundreds showed up and lined up, frustrated and angry, sharing their stories. It is one of the most terrifying things that's happened to me in my life. Denise Lillian described being attacked last Monday by young people she thought at first needed help. On the corner of 45th and Shafter, down on the pavement, punching me, kicking me, dragging me. The a business owner said he worried about his staff's lives with multiple armed robberies. Uh, my staff has been held up at gunpoint four times in six years. Um, the last time that my staff got held up at gunpoint, Oakland native, uh, military veteran, black man from Oakland, almost got shot and killed. And this father said he wants the city to draw a line and send a message of zero tolerance. We need to stop the violent, the killers. We're coming after y'all. Police say they are going to work on getting more visible patrols through the neighborhoods, and Kolb says he will push for more consequences. If they're committing these violent crimes repeatedly, we can't just say, oh, please don't do this again. We have to catch them and create consequences. And we'll send another uh, uh, email letter to the district attorney um, talking about this very thing. The Oakland Department of Violence Prevention's interim chief and one school board member who was present said the city has had some success with their intervention teams, working directly with troubled youth at Oakland schools to steer them away from violence and crime. But the budget does not cover all schools. These are teams of three people, and they go out out and actually help students who are struggling. We would probably need about six to nine more individuals just to have the three teams at every comprehensive high school in Oakland. And tonight after the meeting, I talked to some people who said they wish that there would be more of these community meetings between residents and city officials. I did just get a message from Dan Kolb. He says that he plans to follow up on many of these issues with the area captain. And he also says he's going to push hard in the budget for uh, continued overtime uh, funding to try and make sure that the police are able to fill gaps. Julie. Yeah, a uh, good packed meeting there tonight, Jana. Thank you. Now